everyone, it's Danielle here, back with another video. You already know. So today, I am by myself and I'm not with anyone. And I'm not doing a challenge or anything today. I'm going to be answering your guys' assumptions, just really telling you guys like the truth about things that you guys always ask me. And I want you guys to know those things because I know you guys are super, super curious. So I was like, I'm just gonna make an assumption video and tell you guys everything basically. But before we get started with the assumptions, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, tap the bell, do all of that before we get started. Now, let's get actually started. So I posted on my story assumptions and I got actually a lot of really weird questions asking like Pure assumptions. Are you dating someone? It was just really weird so I made another story and I was like asking like deep things First one that I got Do you think that social media changed you? I definitely think it changed a lot about me and the way that I look at things and the way that I handle things. But I definitely think that it didn't change the person that I am. I'm still the exact same person that I was when I was living in Florida and I didn't even have Instagram. And if you were to be friends with me, I would still treat you the same. I still talk to all of my friends in Florida. It's not like I would ever ditch them because I'm bigger now. So I think social media almost changed me for the good. I know that a lot of people are are like social media changes people it makes them bad people it makes them just disrespectful it makes them not grateful for anything anymore and I kind of think that it did the opposite for me so did social media change me yes it is true it did change me but I definitely think it was for the good and I think a lot of it just has to do with that if you're in the real world you learn a lot of things I mean everyone goes through having fake friends everyone goes through like breakups everyone goes through all of that stuff in the industry um, it's a lot different when you go through a breakup, it's more about to like be able to tell two million people that you just went through a breakup where all of those people are in love with you and your boyfriend. Like they think you guys are like the best power couple, all of that. And you have to be like, so guys, me and my boyfriend just broke up and you don't know what their reaction is going to be to that. Or if you deal with a fake friend, out of nowhere, you just stop hanging out. Everyone's curious about where they went. So a lot of things are different, definitely between social media and that. So you kind of have to change as a person, not really in like a bad way, like you're not thinking thankful for anything anymore but you do have to change some things and you can't really like expect everything to be the same not even really change just make yourself stronger while you're doing it I think you grow really thick skin and you become stronger as it happens if you're not already changing into that when it first starts like it's not gonna be good you're just gonna be like why are all these people hating on me what is all this why is that happening you're not gonna be able to handle it so you do have to change a lot if you want to do something like social media acting anything because it's such a different world World than me literally just going to school and just so different so of course anyone that does it they really just have to change for the best honest you guys are probably like I'm going on and on but one of the main things that I get did you ever date Case Walker me and Case Walker, we are very good friends still to this day. We were never ever in a relationship or even thought about being in a relationship. It more honestly came to the thing where we were like a brother and sister type of thing. Everyone was like, you guys are dating. Oh my God, you guys are so cute together. And we never really honestly responded to anything. We were like, we don't need to tell them our business or anything. And we never dated, never anything. But we were great friends. We would have really good times together. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. We were just really good friends. We never dated. I think a lot of people would say that, and I would even say this too. Honestly, we definitely did portray ourselves as dating. I like I could not agree with that more. We would post hearts all over, be like dates, all that stuff. We were young. We weren't really thinking of it like, oh, like it's gonna be like everyone's gonna think we were dating. That is not the truth. The truth about that is that we were just really good friends and we just posted together and we still are really good friends to this day and that's a question that I get a lot that I still get and it's been like a year and a half now maybe even like two years since we met the next one it's a great question I love that I have to answer this are you pregnant no I'm not pregnant. This is not a truth about me. This is nothing that I would ever even do, first of all. I'm not pregnant. Whether you guys think that I'm a hoe or a slut, I'm not pregnant. I've never even done anything to be pregnant. I don't even think that I've ever attempted to do anything to be pregnant. But yeah, that's just a really dumb question that I get all the time and I was like, I need to put that in there because it's definitely not the truth. And if I was pregnant, I think that my mother would probably send me to a boarding school. I don't even know. <laughs> Literally be so mad at me. So I would never 
even try to do anything like that. Um, next one, we love this question. I know everyone knows about this situation. Are you 11 or 12? And no, I'm sorry, I'm not 11. I'm not 12, I'm not 13, I'm 14. I don't get why this is even still being answered so much, but it's just something that you guys wanna know. A rumor started about it and somehow everyone believed it and you should never believe everything that you hear on social media. It doesn't really bother me because it's just kind of like it's dumb. I think it's a dumb subject to even talk about. Like I know myself, I know who I am, I know how old I am, I know what I'm like in person. So it's like, I don't even need to like tell you. Either way, I still wanted to because it's just like something that I always get asked, so. No, that is not true for all of you guys wondering. Do you go to school? Yes, I do go to school. I do an online private school. It's a lot of work, but I do it. If I don't have my school done, I'm not allowed to do anything. Love that for me, it's very hard. But yes, I do go to school, that is true that I do go to school. A lot of people are like, you don't go to school, you're never in school. I go to online school, which is not very easy for all of you guys wondering. Cause I know, I used to be like you, being like, I wanna be in online school, I hate school. No, you don't. You wanna stay in school for as long as you can. Unless you have to get out of school like I did, maybe do it, but it's really not worth it, it sucks. Did you ever date Sebastian Bales? No, I did not date Sebastian Balls. That's his contact in my phone, Sebastian Balls. No, we never dated. We've been best friends for like four years. He is a lot older, yes I know, but we get along somehow. And I get along with a lot of older people though because I'm more mature for my age, I'd say. Yeah, so we get along really well. He lives with me, he edits my videos, all of that. He's actually in the room right now while I'm doing this. Yeah, so we never dated. We are just really good friends and hang out nonstop. So no, we never dated anything like that. Never even thought about dating him. <laughs> like, never. That's just a dumb question, too. But, you know, you guys want to know those kind of things, so I'm answering them. Are you adopted? I'm not adopted. I was raised by both of my parents. My parents just didn't work out in the long run. So they did end up separating when I was pretty older, kind of. Not really when I was young. Maybe, like, four years ago or some, something like that. Yeah, my parents just weren't right for each other <laughs> so they separated i see them both still um my dad and mom both have custody of me if you guys don't see my stories all the time i'm always in a plane going to florida i do go and see my dad every month for like four days five days or i'll go every two weeks for a week or two weeks so kind of just depends sometimes i go sometimes i don't most of the time i do go though so both of my parents do have custody of me they just don't live together or in the same state so that's very difficult for me because I have to travel across the country all the time and my relationship with them is fine. It's just like a normal teenager with her parents. That kind of goes for anything with my parents. Like, do you live with your mom? Do you live with your dad? I live with my mom most. Are you a hoe? Are you a thaw? Are you a thaw? No, that's not true because if you guys didn't know the meaning of a slut, it means when you do intercourse with a bunch of different guys. First of all, I've never even done it with one guy, so I don't know if that'd be possible, but it's fine, it's fine. You guys do you and say what you want, but I've never done it or done anything like that. I've kissed my boyfriends and I still kiss my boyfriend till this day because I love my boyfriend and I wanna kiss him on his cheek and I wanna kiss him on his lips. But that is not something that makes you a hoe. I'm sorry that your parents don't let you wear revealing clothes, but my mom has no problem with it. And so I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. You guys say that I'm a hoe because I wear this, but what girl that is a teenager is allowed to wear crop tops and ripped jeans wouldn't wear that? Because I know for sure all y'all girls out there that their parents don't let them wear this kind of stuff, they wanna wear it. In their brain, they're like, oh, I wish I could look like her wearing that. Don't even say you don't because that is a proven fact. Literally every girl wants to look cute everyone looks cute though like you can be wearing a hoodie and sweats you could be in a turtleneck in a school uniform and look cute but crop tops and ripped jeans and shorts and tank tops those are cute too that there's nothing wrong with that and if that's what you want to wear then that's what you want to wear if your mom says no to it then that's her decision you're with her too however old you're with her and she's in charge of you. Like, if your mom is okay with it, then that's fine. Don't come at me because you're jealous that your mom doesn't let you wear that. It's not true that I'm a hoe, it's just me being me. If you follow me, it's because you like the person that I am. So, I'm not gonna change that because a couple people are calling me a hoe. So if you're one of those people, <laughs> sorry, like, it's not working. 
Do you vape? Do you drink? Um, do you do drugs, etc.? Anything in that kind of <laughs> source, I guess? No, I don't do anything. I do not vape. I do not jewel. The only thing that I know is a jewel because I hear people talking about it a lot. They're like, do you jewel? It's the only thing I know, but I don't know what any other thing is called. Don't do drugs. Um, I don't drink. Don't drink at all. Never. I've never done that before. I'm the person that if I go to a party and I see alcohol, I'm like, I'm a leak. I, I hate the way it smells. I just I can't stand alcohol and I would never do it and I'm also 14 Maybe when I'm like in my 20s or in my 30s I'll be drinking champagne and some wine But that's the only thing that I could ever see myself drinking is like champagne and wine if I'm at like a fancy dinner I don't know. I just can't stand like the smell of alcohol or like how it makes people <laughs> Do you Photoshop? This is false. I do use editing apps, not gonna lie. I do, I do use editing apps. If I'm gonna post a picture to all of my followers, I want it to look like a good picture. If I'm in Hawaii, I don't want the beach to look disgusting and it to look like it's raining. I wanna make the sky blue. I wanna put vibrance in it and make myself look like I'm in a tropical place, not a rainy place. So if my picture isn't looking that good and it's looking a little not pretty that day, I'm gonna go in with my face tune, my visco, all of that, and I'm gonna make sure that I make that sky look as blue as I can, make the water look as blue as I can, because that catches the eye, it's beautiful. If I'm gonna put my time into taking a picture, I'm gonna put my time into editing the picture and making it look good to post it to you guys because that's the creative way to do it. If I'm gonna post a picture, it needs to be good. It needs to be something that is gonna catch your eye, something that people are gonna look at and be like, wow, that's beautiful. Like, I do not edit me, really. Um, I think the only time I really edit me is if I have maybe like one pimple i'll be like let me smooth that out but i've never actually went in and photoshop myself and be like let me make this get it let me make that you know let me make their booty there has been some things in the way past 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 yeah i do not edit myself i edit the actual picture are you a dwarf no i'm not a dwarf i'm 411 the dwarf size to be a dwarf is 48 I just passed it. Are you a virgin? Yes, I am a virgin. I would never even do anything like that. Um, I never found the interest in it. Um, if you're gonna do that, I think that you should wait till you are with the right person and you are married and you know that you're gonna be with that person forever. You guys are really close and you're doing it with someone that you trust. Of course, I do trust Mikey and I love him and I think that we're gonna be together forever but we are too young and either way, even if we were getting married and we were this age, which you can't get married at 14, I don't think, I would still be like, no, because we're definitely too young for that. So that is a big no, no. So yes, I am a virgin, that is true. Does your mom take your money? Nope, she does not. She does not take my money at all. I do use my money for some bills to help her out, which that's me giving her my money because I want to, and I want to help her out, so I do give it to her. But other than that, um, no, she's never tried to take money for me. That is not true. But anyways, guys, that is the full video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed sharing some of these things with you because I feel like they really are just things that you guys need to know and you guys should know as following me because I want you guys to know me and really just get to know me um but yeah I love you all so much you guys mean the world to me thank you so much for watching and make sure you like comment subscribe tap the bell and I will see you all next time Mwah.